All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be calculating some molar mass. We're gonna need a periodic table and we're gonna need a molecule or an element of some sort. On the periodic table, we have a bunch of molar masses and up here I have borax and a chemical formula. So with that chemical formula and this periodic table, we, ladies and gentlemen, will be able to calculate molar mass and then use this balance to measure it. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is identify a formula. Here we have borax Na2B4O7. So we have to indicate how many of each element and the molar mass of these elements. So I'll find them on the periodic table. Na first, boron second, and then we have oxygen. So we have all three, one, two, three different elements from the periodic table present right here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this area right here to write out my number. Um, and we're gonna take sodium first because that's the first one in this. So we go Na, we have two Na atoms. The molar mass of sodium is 22.99. Two times 22.9, uh, 44.98. Grams. Okay, then we're gonna go for our next boron. Oh, we're gonna have seven there. Let me darken these numbers up. Boron, 10.8. Eight, one times four. I'm gonna use the calculator for that one. Oxygen, 16. I know that one by heart. Calculator time. Four times 10.81. 43.24. Seven times 16. 112. We will add these numbers together, 112 plus 44.98 plus 43.24 equals 180.22. Is that right? Nope, that's not right. Let me redo this. 44.98 plus 43.24 plus 112. Yeah, 200.22, that's much better. Now, I will take this substance known as borax. Where is my box? Where is my box? The box. Well, this is borax, also known as a 20 mule team. Sometimes can be used for detergent for laundry. So what you would do then is you'd come over here, find yourself a piece of wax paper, place that onto your balance, press tear, should get down to zero. There we go. Put them right on the wax paper and weigh out 200.22 grams of borax and you will have one mole of this substance. Ladies and gentlemen, You'll be doing four samples around the classroom this Monday and Tuesday. Do your best. Good luck.